Mr. Conrad, you just have a round table around the perception of advertising in these times. I think the perception is not so good at this moment in the society, in, Euro, in the world, in Europe. Can you make some little resume about this round or what, the, what you, you get out of this round table about perceptions, problems, actual advertising? Is it possible? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, the, the people mm -hmm. now have uh, uh, any, have actually, there's a lot changing yeah, in how you get hold of an information that might be important or relevant to you. You know, uh, for instance, when um, uh, Liz Taylor dies, died, mm -hmm. yeah? I mean, before you picked, picked it up in the newspapers, you mm -hmm. already knew it. It was kind of push-forward yeah. message or so. Yeah, yes. So, which means the next mm -hmm. day you go to the newspaper stand mm -hmm. and what do you see? You see four or five publications mm -hmm. and they all say Liz Taylor died. Mm -hmm. yeah? So, I mean, what to do with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, if there is a headline like when Michael Jackson died, mm -hmm. yeah, one newspaper wrote Michael Jackson died 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So that is the newspaper I go for because right. I think, hey, there is more background, more yes, thinking yes. Yes, behind yes. the mm -hmm. news. Yes, yes, yes. You know, mm -hmm. and that's the same thing the with time. with uh, uh, consuming mm -hmm. uh, advertising. You know, I once had a discussion with, with Procter and Gamble yes. and I told them the most important thing, in mm -hmm. my opinion, mm -hmm. is the one to see again factor. So what is the one to see again factor? Mm -hmm. Well, that is how many times do I want to see again this piece of communication? Mm -hmm. And you know, if you research that, if you put out a monitor, 85% of the work has a want to see again factor of zero. It's expected, it's constructed, it wants to get to the wallet of the people and really not adding something to the people's lives. And smart marketers today, they see their brand as a service to people. They come up with ideas, they better their lives. And everyone out there is looking for recipes. You know, to mm -hmm. get some advice, some idea how to make the daily challenge a bit more pleasant. Mm -hmm. And those marketers that understand it, mm -hmm. they have a more insightful operation and they have ideas how they can contribute. Mm -hmm. And in today's world, mm -hmm. you need both. It's all between broadcasting and narrowcasting. Mm -hmm. You need the broadcast in a way mm -hmm. to, to get into the public awareness of a brand, especially if it's an image brand. Mm -hmm. And then the narrowcast, you really can do something special for the users. Mm -hmm. yeah? So. Uh, we have future, so huh? some, some people understand it well, some people yes. don't, yeah? mm -hmm. but I, I tell you, uh, uh, one, one big mistake in, in advertising was to separate the media mm -hmm. uh, from the creation, mm -hmm. uh, because they all think they, they own the spiel. Yeah? You mean the media buyers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Media, media planners. Planners. Media, planners. Media, planners. media agencies. Planners. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It should not be yeah. separated regarding... Uh, 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 crafting a concept, mm -hmm. crafting communication, they belong to, to each other, mm -hmm. you know? To and it is damn complicated to mm -hmm. come up with, with uh, um, a strategy that really takes you to a place where you're competitive in a creative way. Mm -hmm. uh, creativity is key these days, yeah? and uh, media mm -hmm is very rational in the first place, mm -hmm. you know? You count the noses, yeah? how many people do I reach with uh, demographic targeting. Mm -hmm. My idea uh, is psychographic targeting mm -hmm. and uh, not a lot of people understand that. Yeah? So what is psychographic targeting? Psycho psycho psychographic targeting, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, very simple thing to explain it, if you, if you give me two minutes. Yes, yes. Think about somebody that drives a BMW. We actually had a presentation
the day from research about BMW. You know, there was one thing, it has energy, it's, it, it, it's sporty. Mm -hmm. Nothing in this presentation did hint in a way, in a psychographic way, mm -hmm. anything about the driver. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. And when you think about the driver, what, how would you describe a BMW driver? What, what, what's mm -hmm. in this person's behavior? Mm -hmm. How does he or she drive on the road? Most of the time. Fast, fast adventure, risky, <laughs> risky, risky uh, yeah, sport, I mean, sportly. Do you think faster than, than the, the big car? Cars? Possibly, the big car. That, that means on which side of the lane is he driving? On the, on the left. On the, on the left side. On the left side, no? Fast so, one. Here we go. Yeah? <laughs> the BMW personality <clears throat> is an overhaul personality. Mm -hmm. it's strong. Those yeah. people cannot uh, stand behind anything also cars. Mm -hmm. They got to overtake, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And in the 60s, Paul Hahnemann, the CEO of BMW, mm -hmm. gave a briefing to the engineers and to the communication. Mm -hmm. And he said, my car is driving on the overhaul lane. Mm -hmm. And you know, the engineers had to come up with design mm -hmm. when you look in a rare mirror of a Mercedes mm -hmm. in a Mercedes and you see the BMW coming, said, I better stay on the on the right side because this guy is overtaking me. Okay. Yeah? So now and in communication in Germany they said as what I'm fun, which means uh, fun to drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, passion to drive, whatever. In the United States, they said the ultimate driving machine. So they, they went Here a little they say bit further. Uh, with the fun. Yeah, with fun. So, in Spain also. so it's, it's more modest, more responsible, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yeah, to, to, mm -hmm. you know, not to push the people too far. But mm -hmm. the psychology, yeah, mm -hmm. the psych psychographic aspect of mm -hmm. the person is always there. Now the same person, just imagine, mm -hmm. the same person is married, and they get their first baby, and mm -hmm. now he has to diaper the baby. Mm -hmm. What kind of car is suddenly ranking uh, uh, maybe above a BMW? What's it? Volvo. Uh, Volvo. Volvo yes. You just nailed it. And the, the psychographic idea behind the Volvo is safe. Yes, so the engineers design a bit more of a tank feel mm -hmm. yeah? and the communication when it's great it talks to fathers and about responsibility mm -hmm. in a tongue-in-cheek way what, whatever in a, in a creative way mm -hmm. so that means you know you are in a much different area when you position your brand when you develop your, your brand strategy your communication your retail strategy your design strategy mm -hmm. and so forth and bring it together. So separating mm -hmm. parties that should work together is stupid. Mm -hmm. And that is what's happening right now. And I think advertising people are rep repositioned, depositioned, mm -hmm. but I have not seen with some exceptions of, of uh, maybe the Uniqlo brand mm -hmm. uh, through the Uniqlo yeah, uh, uh, idea, not seeing a lot of brands that would have been built via digital. Mm -hmm. Sub ideas mm -hmm. like Nike Plus mm -hmm. within the whole gestalt mm -hmm. uh, of the Nike brand, mm -hmm. well, brilliant service and engaging runners and very quickly with, with the Nike Plus idea mm -hmm. they were over 20 million. Yeah, so all goes hand in hand, you know. We are living in times where you really can use digital to move your idea, to get agreement on the, your idea, and to implement the idea, and to create action. Yes. We've seen that in the Middle East. That is how the revolution started, just with some Facebook engagement in the beginning, yes. or Google engagement. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so um, yeah. yeah. I mean, we have very valuable assets mm -hmm. for communication these days. But in order to direct the brand in a very simple way, mm -hmm. yeah, focus it maybe on one word: overhaul, safe, 
magic for Disney or what, what, whatever mm -hmm. you pick. Yeah? So, so that is, that is mm -hmm. uh, uh, still the issue. Thank you. We can do, we can do two things. Uh, one, we can already say we have a Grand Prix, which we will not uh, we will announce in the evening. Uh, yeah. uh, could you elaborate a little bit, just for the guys, about the Grand Prix? Why it is a Grand Prix in Piaf? Um, maybe I will explain. It's a project uh, get tested uh, for uh, HIV uh, prevent yeah. AIDS, AIDS uh, prevention, uh, where 30 uh, anchors in uh, Israeli radio uh, got tested uh, during their uh, their shows in the radio. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a kind. Of, it was not a classical commercial campaign, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, firstly, it's a powerful idea, yeah? and to get all those anchor, I mean, those, those DJs uh, 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 engaged of those radio stations, you know. I mean, you start with some, and then the others they cannot get out of it, you know, in order to get us and it's it's a, a very intriguing way uh, uh, to engage the young population uh, behind getting tested. I must say they got so tested and after, after 30 minutes they got the results live. Yeah. Very so, fast. So then, Very then fast. The, uh, the, I mean, a story of its own developed because mm -hmm. every person that tested had its own story to tell. Yeah, mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then uh, uh, on Facebook and and uh, the digital media, mm -hmm. you sort of uh, uh, experience the testing and and the interview and the, uh, talking about the motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is a, a fantastic idea on a very uh, 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 important problem. You know. You hear a lot about it, and in the communication, they operate with, with a lot of fear. But this time, it was an engagement uh, uh, via an idea what you really can do. Uh, so I think that convinced uh, we, we had uh, wonderful choices for, for the Grand Prix, but that was a, a clear cut, simple idea that is actually global idea. You can take this idea and can do it in any market. But uh, how did you see the, the PF contest? And uh, what are your impressions from the work and from the general uh, standard of, uh, of this? Uh, yeah, well, I understand. I mean, PF is at the beginning. PF has a, a wonderful focus, and that is focusing on brands and the establishing of brands, the developing of brands, the flowing of brands in all aspects. And uh, uh, I like this idea a lot. Uh, so it, it differentiates from from other festivals. So. Uh, I would love to have seen more work, you know? so it was not, I mean, I think this sort of festival idea should draw in more participation, but I understand it's in its second year, you know, and what can you ask, what was really great was a fantastic jury, yeah? great minds, we had wonderful discussions. Uh, uh, thoughtful discussions, insightful discussions, and I think to the material that was there, we were able to make some good choices. There were uh, or some, some very good choices. There were some areas uh, uh, like state advertising or, or so, um, uh, which was a kind of thin category, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, but I think it's, it's a successful start uh, of a festival and uh, so I'm, I was happy that I was here and, and, and uh, actually I'm, I'm really uh, positively surprised about the lectures and the participation even in early times so you had full house. Uh, and that's good. So congratulations to uh, yeah. Actually, the conference can happen could happen anywhere. No? They are general topics interesting for for Europe. 
Yeah, but you know, I mean, this is a conversation yeah, we need to have more often, especially if the topic of focusing on brands is able to bring the designers, the, the creators of communication and the manufacturers uh, of the brands together uh, to work with each other. You know? So as uh, communication gets more and more complex, more and more clients uh, feel they have to to um, coordinate or manage it out of their place. Yeah? And that is a potential failure. Yeah? So uh, it has to be in the hands of communication people and uh, you know and collaboration and working from the same page and trust amongst the various units is very important. And I think uh, uh, momentarily this is something that gets a little bit lost. Uh, I hear it all over, where will advertising be? And as I said before, uh, I don't know anybody else than advertising people that can write a line, just do it, three words, and then For you, discover, you discover the richness. Because if you ask yourself, yeah, just do what? Then you unleash all these fantastic insights uh, that drives sportiveness, that drives engagement in sports, and you can use those and, and uh, ex exaggerate, and, and you have brilliant stories. You know?